Hello lovelies, it's Sarcasm the Sickness, and we're back for episode 3 of Pokemon Art Academy. So, uh, episode 3, we're starting lesson 3, so that's cool. That's gonna be fun. Hopefully. I guess we're drawing Togepi today? Yes? Yes? Yeah, or nah. No. Okay, we're entering the academy. I like starting out on that on the start screen there, it's really cute. It's really cool. The music is awesome, the scenery looks awesome. It's, it's nice, it's nice. Darumaka! <laughs> I still want to look into the free paint, but it's like, I don't really- I can't right now. Ooh, there's downloadable images? Oh, that's sick. Alright, maybe I'll look at that later. Shoot. Alright, let's go into lessons, though. Lesson one. Oh, that's the starter exercise. There's eight starter exercises? Hello? Oh, wait, one out of eight. Oh, no, two out of eight. Oh, that, I'm sorry, that's- that's- <laughs> Yeah, that's the, uh, that's the amount of lesson plans there are. That's interesting. Oh, so I'm already at lesson- Okay, I'm through the novice. I'm halfway through the partial. I'm halfway through the novice course. Let's go. Let's go to the dive in. Whatever. I can't words today. Apparently. Ugh. It's a lot of talking. It's a lot of talking. I've got to get used to that. See, let's plays are so different from just like talking over my art videos because it's like I can have just a topic to go on and then just just ramble for like 15 minutes. <laughs> this is different. Welcome to the next part of the novice course. So we're gonna draw Togepi. Oh my god, that's so cute! Why does it look like it's gonna fall off and die? Ah! Togepi are fairy type- I forgot it was fairy type now. That are always full of joy. Oh my god. It is said that happiness will come to anyone who can make a sleeping po Togepi stand up. That's... A weird- What? Seriously? Are you serious? What? They store the kindness of others inside their shells and share it out as happiness and good luck. Aw, oh, how cute is that? You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of um <laughs> of Pedro's Tokopi that he that he got in the, his Wonder Trade battle against Hermes or Hermzar, and he used Metronome and it blew up. So there's that. How cute! That must be great for trainers who manage to capture one. So far, we focus on drawing heads and building up your confidence with the art tools, but now you've had some practice, so it's time to start drawing full bodies. Awesome! I've been looking forward to this! Me too, Lee, don't worry about it. You're not the only one. First, we'll draw- well, for the first stage, we'll draw Tokubi's outline with the outline pen! That's probably what that would be for. On top of Tokubi's head is shaped a bit like a crown. Like some Princess Peach's crown, I swear to god. What the hell? The points on the front are closer to us, so they look taller. The points at the back are further away and look smaller. Let's draw these parts now. Alright, give me that. I don't know why it sets me off on a different- whatever. Fine, I got you. I'm just drawing the head part right now? Okay. Whatever. I- I mean, I don't know, Chief. I can- I can handle the rest of it. We can just- just- just put me in, man. Put me in. Oh, shoot. Why is it so big? Hello? Does it need to be that big? Why does it need to be that big? Ew. I don't like that at all. Why does it have to be that big? Ugh. Whatever. Okay. Oh, why does it look so big? What the hell? Hello? Why does it give me such a big tool? It's not necessary. Okay, I am using the second- I am using the second! Oh my god, why does this look so big? This is freaking me out! That's what she said, but... I mean, whatever. I'm just gonna ignore that. Ah, freaking- come on. Come here. No. Forget it, I don't care. Oh my god. I don't care. Next step. Whatever. Tokubi's fine. <laughs> No, we'll outline the top of Togepi's shell. Zooming in may help you get. Th okay, whatever. Right, we're still gonna use the giant one. Oh my god, I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like using this giant pen. Why is it so fat? Hello? Can I? Okay, okay. Can I? Okay. <sighs> whatever. Here, give me this. Look, I don't. I don't even care. For my own, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm going to institute a little bit of creative license here and go for a smaller pen tool on this part right here because that's starting to bother me. Okay. Whatever. That's fine. <sighs> now we'll add the arms, legs, and bottom of the shell. Okay, it wants me to go back to the big one and I don't care. I don't care. Ugh. I really just don't. I really just don't like this giant pen that we're using. Ugh. That arm looked- it just needed a lot of help there. That needed so much help. Whatever. Ew. Ew. Why are you making me use such a fat pen tool? 
Why is it so big? Why does it have to be so big? Why? Ugh. 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 Oh, hey. Random story time while I'm struggling with this. I had a burrito for the first time today. Yeah, I've never had a burrito before. I don't know why. I just... I don't know, I always just assume that they all have, like, spicy food in them. And I don't like spicy food. I can't... There's, I guess it's something that I, I can't stand spicy food. For whatever reason. In fact, it, there probably is a reason. This actually probably a very good reason. And I will talk about that in a moment, because I'm just about done here. Yeah, I'll talk. I'll tell you about that in a second. But yeah, I had a... Uh, Pedro took me to go get a burrito today. So, that was good. I didn't... I haven't finished it yet. I still have a little bit less left that I'm going to heat up. And probably eat after I record this, actually. That sounds great. That sounds great. But, um, yeah, it's just chicken and tomatoes and... What, like... Oh, wait. Oh, my God, I forgot to draw the back of the head spikes. Welp. <laughs> anyway, um... I'm so glad they let me go back. Um, yeah. I had tomato and lettuce and chicken. And I think that was it. It was just kept it nice and simple for my first time, so it's okay. But yes, my burrito virginity is gone today. So, I mean, I guess that's a thing. Next, outline the colored pattern on Tokabe's shell by using a smaller pen size. Try to complete each shape with one stroke, because joining at, uh, joining up at the ends can be difficult. I don't wanna- oh my god, Lee! Lee! Lee, they give you something to trace. Lee! <laughs> I like that one leg, though, it looks like it's, like, dancing. Really? I found it pretty easy. Hmm, those are nice shapes, but we really need smooth corners rather than sharp ones. Oh my god, he's going at his neck! Like, Professor Andy give, has no chills when it comes to poor Lee. Like, he doesn't even give him constructive criticism, he's just like, You kind of suck balls! And it's like, well, thanks, great. Oh wait, give me that. It's like, like, dude, he needs- He obviously needs, like, some tender loving care, and Professor Andy is just- you know what's the shame of it all, really? The biggest shame is that, like, Lee really looks up to Professor Andy, and he's so excited about working with this guy, and freaking Andy's just like, y -y -y fuck you! It's like, damn, dude. Like, he, this guy cares about you, this guy follows your work, and, like, I don't know, like, like, really looks up to you, and you're just, like, just kind of, like, shitting on everything he does. It's seriously, like, disheartening. This game needs to calm down, it's not that serious. I mean, it is that serious, but it's... It's seriously important to be encouraging and not be a jerk. Ugh. Now we'll add the mouth and lines around the eyes for the... L okay, the lines with the toes. You can put on your care for sure to zoom in. Ugh, look at how slow they're going, whatever. Okay, yeah, I get you. Um, Professor... Wait, no. Um, why aren't we drawing the eyes yet, Professor? Oh, I'll explain that later, but you might be able to guess if you think about it. I... actually... can't guess. So, whatever. Here, let me zoom in a little bit more, I guess. Oh, it actually kind of snapped to it pretty well. Um... Yeah, okay. Give me that. Ugh. Give me that. Ugh. Fr frack! Hello. Ew. Wait, so this part is black, right? That's what we're doing? Okay, that's freaking fine, whatever. Let's go down to the toes. Oh, this goes so slow, oh my god! Ew. 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 Okay, whatever. It's fine, it's good. Yeah, okay, next up. <laughs> whatever, why are we drawing the eyes separate? Oh, because they're a different color. I see you, big dog! The outline is complete, so it's time to start coloring! First, we'll use the second largest white marker for the color of the shell. Why the second color? Okay, whatever, I don't care. Uh, I guess because there's some details. Whatever. I really don't... I don't think I care that much. I'm gonna go with the big marker for now, and I'm gonna do the smaller details in a second. Because I really just don't feel like wasting all that time to use a small marker for all of this to fill in. Like, come on. At least give me a paint bucket tool, Jesus. It's... it's oh my god. Okay, maybe there's a reason we did the smaller tool, but that's okay. We're gonna struggle through, we're gonna fight through, guys. Because I don't... I just really don't feel like fighting this that much. Okay. Eh, let's zoom in a little bit. 
Okay, give me that. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. It's kind of nice. Ooh, I gotta erase. Ew, 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 ew. Eraser alert. Yuck. Okay, it's fine. Yes. Oh, shoot. I kind of a little bit at the top. It spilled over. The rest... Oh. The rest of the coloring should be straightforward. Start with the yellow head and limbs. They're not really... It's kind of like a cream. Not really yellow, but alright. Whatever, bruh. Whatever you say, bruh. Okay. Alright, now I'll be able to fix things. Yay. Um, so yeah, about... I guess about why I don't like spicy food. Um, when I was... When I was a little tot, a little baby, little... Maybe not a baby baby, maybe like a toddler kind of thing. Um, I guess my parents took me... Took us... Or all, we all went out to, um, like... I don't know. I guess not Red Lobster, I don't know. Like some... Some kind of like... Like... Like, Outback Steakhouse, kind of Lone Star, kind of whatever sort of restaurant. Um, and whatever, like, for whatever reason that night, um, my parents had a very hard time getting me to drink milk. And I just, like, I just absolutely refused. I was just like, nah, I don't want this. Nah, I don't want this. And to be honest, to this day, I don't really drink milk like that. Like, I'll drink chocolate milk, but I don't drink, like, regular milk. Just, just like that. Which is a problem. It's a problem. I really need to, my bones are probably, like, super unhealthy. But, um... Yeah, they were having a really hard time getting me to drink milk. Um, and, you know, like, we just, like, whatever, let, we just ordered our meals, and, or they ordered for me, obviously. Um, we got our stuff, and I guess, I guess my dad's meal came with, um, like, like a pepper, like a hot pepper. And my dad has no qualms about eating spicy food. In fact, he, he practically lives for it, for whatever reason. Um, and, you know, so he just took the hot pepper and just, crunch just just took a big old bite out of it and me as a little kid as a little tot i always wanted to do what my dad was doing so like you know i like i reached out my hands all grabby like gimme 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 and my dad's like all right and my mom's like what the hell are you doing you're gonna hurt that child so he hands me the hot pepper and you know i crunch take a big old bite out of it and immediately, like, immediately start screaming my freaking head off and drank all of my milk. In fact, my parents my parents tell me, legend says that they actually had to order, like, three or four extra glasses of milk for me because I was still screaming and crying. And that's probably why I don't like spicy food. That's probably why I don't like spicy anything to this day. Because my dad done goofed and messed me up, dude. I was broken. <laughs> Now we'll color the red shapes using the- Okay, we- Okay, we can- Okay, whatever. I got you. And then we'll do the blue ones, I guess. I can do the red and the blue. I don't care. I don't need your freaking opinion. But yeah, that's probably why I don't like spicy food. So, there you go. <laughs> I don't know. It's an interesting little story, I suppose. Ugh. Why is this so difficult? I'm really- I'm- I swear I make- I have to be making this more difficult than it is. Like, there's probably no reason for it to be this hard. I don't know. I mean, even look at the top- look at their example at the top. They- even that has, like, little gaps and places and things, and they just don't care. They're just like, whatever. It's still better than Lee's drawing. Like, come on, dude. God, it's making me, like, overthink and, like, make sure I didn't screw up on mine. Which I did, so, you know. <laughs> whatever. I don't care. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Because it's just gonna tell me to do it anyway. I don't even care, dude. Oh, shoot. I care enough that I don't want to mess it up at least. Ew. But yeah, he's gonna he's gonna yell at me to do it anyway. If, if he, you know what, if he didn't want me to do it right now, he wouldn't have given me the extra blue yet. He wouldn't have given me the blue because I didn't have that before. He's the one who handed me the blue marker. It's his fault, really. He's irresponsible, and he left an art student alone with many colors of colors and things. Next step. <laughs> Which is the step that I just did. Now we'll color the blue shapes. Okay, whatever. Yes, I got you. Yes. Okay, I did that. Alright, next step. Let's go. <laughs> Knock that out of the ballpark. Now we'll add pink to the mouth. Alright. Okay. That looks fine. I love how we're taking a whole step just to do that. That's That was wonderful. Oh my god, why do I have spots over here? You see the spots at the top of the... Is that mine? Oh my god. It's best to do the outline with a marker rather than an outline pen. Or eyes with the- okay, whatever. It makes it easier to add the white highlights in the next step. 
Oh, because you can't draw over the outline pen of the white marker. <laughs> exactly. We're gonna draw... Oh, shoot, I just dropped my pencil. We're gonna draw the eyes in brown. You'll see why in a minute. Uh, will I? Okay. Tokubi won't see why because it's got brown eyes. Oh, I know that was their drawing that has splotches. That's weird. Why are why are his eyes brown? Are they that brown? This this looks really brown. This is like oh can am I am I <sighs> okay I'm gonna make this smaller and we're gonna erase this because I can't oh my god no okay freaking we're gonna have to do some recovery here give me the no no oh my god wait stop <laughs> oh my god come here come here my child. Crack. Oh my god, I almost lost it there. That needs to stop. That needs to not happen. <laughs> okay, zoom in. Jeez. Jesus. Hello. Okay. Alright, we, re we recovered that. We recovered that. I was scared for a second there, guys. I wasn't sure. I thought it was... I thought we'd lost it there. I thought we lost it. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. Uh, How many of you guys have brown eyes? I have brown eyes. Pedro has brown eyes. I like brown eyes. They're nice. I don't know. They're always so warm and inviting to me. Finally, you used the smallest marker to add the highlights in the eyes. Okay. Yes, I see you. Okay. Highlights in the eyes. I wish it would bring the thing back up so I could actually see where they wanted me to put it. But okay, whatever. I just take artistic license. I don't care. Do whatever I want. Oh, whoops, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> Before we finish, I'm going to show you a useful thing you can do with the outline pen. Although the outline pen can be only a single color, it doesn't always have to be black. In fact, a different colored outline will make a poke- or, well, will make a poke- <laughs> will make a drawing look totally different. Okay, oh, look at that. Look at that, that's pretty powerful. When you change the outline pen color, the whole outline will change. Now why don't we change Tokopi's outline to match the color we used for the eyes? Oh, that's cute! Ah, oh, give me that! Ah, oh, look at that! Oh my god, it's so cute! Ah, I love it! Okay, that's nifty! That's nifty! I like that! That's alright by me, I like that! Good! From now on, we'll be trying different outline pen colors in lessons! Ah! It's a good way to add a little extra interest to your drawing! And there it is! You've drawn your first full-body Pokémon! Lee. Lee, what the fuck did you do to the eyes? I mean, okay, okay, wait, look. Okay, wait. Alright. Okay, critiques? I mean, not critiques. No, like, like, here's, here's some, here's some positives. Here's some positives about Lee's drawing. Okay, I'm gonna try this every single time. There are very many positives in this. First of all, he went back and he fixed the, um, he fixed the, the splotches, the little, the little, the little colors shape things. He actually went back and he made them less pointy, alright, so he is learning to use the eraser tool and accept criticism. Alright, so that's powerful. That is very powerful. Um, two, he colored in as much as he could. Like, he actually, he got, he went over the lines and he didn't fill in everything perfectly or whatever, but he, he tried, okay? He, he, he's actually, he's doing, he's making progress. He really is. Um, he still needs to work on mouths, obviously, and eyes need some help, and just general shapes and stuff. But then again, it, it seems like... I don't know, it's just... <sighs> I'm proud of you, Lee. You are making strides, okay? Awesome! That looked a bit tricky, but it was easy doing it step by step. I think I'm getting better with the tools as well. Zooming in really helps. That's good! See, look, he's not being a douchebag right now. And if you want more practice- okay, kind of, wait, maybe he's kind of being a douche. And if you want more practice, you can now try several new mini-lessons. I'll see you next time! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna do another mini-lesson, I think. I think I'm gonna do another mini-lesson. I mean, I don't know, unless you guys don't like me doing it only, like, one at a time. I kinda like doing it, like, one lesson at a time. But I'm not exactly sure how long that'll make the series then. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's so cute, I like this background, it's so fluffy and cute and stuff. Save and finish! I kind of wish I could redo my signature, though. Why don't they give me outline pen tool things for my Siggy? Jeez. It's ridiculous. Tarumaka! Look at him roll back and forth! Ah! It's so sleepy! It's so sleepy. 
Before you head off, I'd like to introduce you to the eight rules of drawing Pokemon. Okay, maybe we'll want to time for things. There are rules? Look at his freaking eyes, oh my god. Um, I'm not very good with those. <laughs> Lee, oh my god. Kind of, you, you little rebel, I see you. Don't worry, Lee, these rules are easy to follow and very useful, too. The eight rules of drawing Pokemon are important when creating illustrations or Pokemon cards. By referring to the rules, you can make your images meet their required standards. I will talk- I'll talk about one rule for each main lesson, so we'll gradually cover them all. Here's your first one. Remain true to the features of the character. Okay, so I suppose it means, like, don't add too much to- like, I mean, I don't know, here, he'll probably explain it. It's important not to change the elements of the Pokemon character. Oh, I see you. <laughs> it would be very hard to recognize Tokopi if we drastically change its colors. Or if we change its basic sh the basic shape of the Pokemon to, say, a cube. <laughs> Look at that. Haha, <laughs> that makes sense. If we remain true to the features of the character, it will be well, instantly recognizable. A good example is the official Pokemon card illustration of Tokopi I'm about to show you. Oh, flex? Oh, true? Oh my god. Look how cute that is. That's so powerful. <laughs> Look at its only attack being yawn. Aw, you little derp. The defending Pokemon is now asleep. Oh, I wish I could draw Togepi that nicely. Me too, Lee. Jeez. I think you'll get there. All you need is patience and hard work. Oh, see, now he's being a little bit encouraging. I don't know, you're both capable of that. You think so, Professor? Absolutely. <laughs> you can review this rule at any time in the extra section and use this card for inspiration. Oh, Flex? He's like... He's like... He's sitting there like, look, I drew this. Now be inspired. <laughs> Great, thank you, Professor. Enjoy and keep on drawing. Alright, maybe we'll go into the we'll pop into the extra section or something and go check that out. Um, I've unlocked new content. Look out for this icon. That's cute. Alright, let's go back. Where's the Where is the extra section? Hello? Um, okay. Is there no, okay, wait, where's the extra section? Hello? What is that? Oh, the eight rules. Okay, I found it! I found it! Okay, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, god. It's gonna make me redo it. No, wait. Oh, my god. I didn't need to do this. Oh, no. Stop. Oh, they can go away. How do I... No, I didn't want this. I didn't ask for this. Oh. Okay, bye. Well... Wait, wait. Can I change my ID card? Yes! I can. Will it make me... You know, nah. I'm, just... I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm really not gonna worry about it. There's no reason to. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna do a quick sketch. Hi, Sarsic! Professor Andy has assigned us to do these quick sketches as homework. The idea is to learn how to draw simple Pokemon quickly. We'll get a step-by-step -step information from Professor Andy as a guide. And a set of pre-assigned tools as well. Why not pick a Pokemon we can try out together? Yeah, sure, we'll, we might as well. Let's... Ooh, there's a lot of different things. There's a lot of different ones. It's cute. And it keeps unlocking ones for us. Let's go with... Ooh, I'm gonna have to go with Whalmer. Start sketch. <laughs> All right. So yeah, I I don't know. I just like I like doing one one lesson at a time. Again, in the comment section, let me know if that's if you wanted if you don't want it to do, go that way. I can do however we can do it. However, Sarsic. Today's Pokemon is Whalmer. It stores seawater inside its body. If it stores enough water, it becomes just like a big bouncy ball. We just need to get through the steps and draw from Professor Andy's example. You can touch B to change which overlay we're using at the time. It looks like there are some tricky shapes, so I have to be careful. Ready? I'll see you at the end! Alright, bye. Okay, wait, wait, what? Hello? Oh, am I just... am I just... am I just... Am I just going? Hello? What? Wait, whoa. Okay, wait, what is this? This is so weird. This is it just giving me nothing? There's no cues? There's no... There's no... Uh, I don't care about cues, but there's no toolbox? Why is there no toolbox? Why is there no toolbox? Hello? I want my toolbox back. I mean, if, I mean... Hello? Whatever. Next step. Okay. Um... Okay. This is so weird. It's not, like, bad or anything, but it's so weird. It's just different, I guess. I don't know. Uh... It's okay, whatever. Alright, I don't know, this is so... this is so different. Why did it make me color all the way if I'm just gonna color over this anyway? Because now I have to color over my mistakes in the first place, which is awkward. Ugh, this is so weird, this is so weird. Alright, next step. 
Okay, nice and mouth, nice and mouth, nice and cheesy grin that I can barely see. Oh my god, I can barely see the white over top of the freaking... <sighs> over top of the... whatever. Over top of the cream color, so now his mouth is all kinds of messed up. Ew. It's like this weird doo-doo brown kind of grin. Whatever. This is so weird, I want my toolbox back. I want it, I want it now. Ew, look at your mouth. Look at your mouth! Why is it like that? Seriously, why are they making us do all these unnecessary steps? Why didn't I just do the pink first? If, all, if we're gonna cover up all the red with it, then why didn't I just do the pink first? Ugh, whatever. Oh my god, it's stupid derp eyes. Look at its derp eyes. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I don't want to use this color for this. Ugh. Little buck teeth. I don't like this. This is so weird. This is so weird. But I guess I can kind of use this as an eraser tool, so I guess it's not terrible. Okay. Yeah, it's fine, I guess. <laughs> All done! Wow, I don't think I've ever seen such a cheerful looking Pokemon. Alright, I guess that's fine. Well, that was interesting, I guess. So let's see how your drawing looks on a Pokemon card. Do we have to? Do we have to? Oh, okay, fine. Ugh, I'll save you anyway, but ugh. Look at this hideous little butt. Ugh. Why is he like that? Continue. <laughs> Alright, that's it for this <laughs> for this lesson. Thank you for joining me. Um, for this episode 3 of Pokemon Art Academy, and I don't know, I hope you had fun today, I certainly did, we drew, we drew Tokopi all big and stuff, and we drew a weird Whalmer and cried about it a little bit, but that's okay, and I don't know, leave a like if you haven't, if you liked the video, and subscribe if you like me for some reason, and I have a question of the day. So maybe answer that and I will talk to you and we can talk about it and we can be happy and talk to each other about stuff. And I'm really going over the time, so... <laughs> I love you, bye!